Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching Two News at 7. There's some controversy, but I think we're over that now when we're getting through it. We're talking about the traffic um, and other issues that, that pertain to that. A final and a tentative map for a new development and Sparks got the green light this evening. That is tonight's Two News Big Story at 7 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Ariana Bennett. Landon has the night off. Thank you for being with us. Well, two Sparks housing developments are moving forward after the City Council voted on them tonight. Chris Buckley is at City Hall for us now. Chris, we've heard about both of these projects before. That's right. One of them is a townhome project that is off of Los Altos Parkway, and the other is another subdivision in Kylie Ranch. We keep changing the handbook, which means progress is being made. We're extending Winfield Springs Road out to Pyramid Lakes, uh, Pyramid Highway. So um, it, it's, you know, for me, the center of town is going to be Kylie Ranch one of these days. You're going to have 120,000 people living out in, in uh, Spanish Springs. This phase of Kylie Ranch will create 79 residential lots on a little over 10 acres. The final map was approved as a consent item on tonight's agenda. The council also approved a townhouse project on Los Altos Parkway. That project is for a 69-unit multifamily subdivision within the Vista's planned development. Some council members had concerns over pedestrian safety in the area, so the decision was made to add a series of pedestrian crosswalk lights to a nearby street and to a roundabout. The hope is housing projects like these will help the current housing market crunch. We're growing and we have to grow. Sparks is the tip of the spear for the Tri-Center, the Teslas and the Apples of the world. So we're building it as fast as we can and, and hopefully with all the apartments coming in line, it might drop the prices of those, those rents on there. That's what we're hoping. Now ultimately the timeline at this point is up to the developers, but they hope to see some major work done in 2019. Covering the story live at Sparks City Hall, Chris Buckley, 2 News. Hmm. All right, Chris.